Ashro for having me as a speaker. Uh, I'm I'm a controlled obsessed freak, so I have my own timer, which is called time timer, and I'm setting my 10 minutes. We can check if our timers are correct at the end of the presentation. So <clears throat> my name is Dmitry and I work for the Dmitry Engineering School and uh, we teach kids, we teach teenagers, we teach adults. And at the Dmitry Engineering School, we started an interesting practice of running retrospective sessions with our little students, with our teen students and with our adult students as well. So uh, what is a retrospective session? A retrospective session is a kind of a uh, in-depth feedback session which we run four times per year in every group in every group with all students so uh, as you know there are some levels of mindset and levels of leadership where at the basic level of mindset and leadership you can follow clear instructions and unfortunately in Russia, when we have kids from secondary schools, they are very well trained to follow instructions, but they can't give productive feedback. So the next stage of leadership and the next stage of mindset is a stage where our students can give productive feedback, by which I mean green feedback, positive feedback, and red feedback, kind of constructive, sometimes negative feedback. And that's especially difficult in some countries like in Russia, that's very difficult to give red feedback, productive, constructive feedback to teachers because they are thought as authority figures. And that's not how the modern world is organized. In the modern world, you have to give productive feedback to all people around you, to people who work for you, for your bosses, uh, for your friends. That's how the world is organized, we believe, at the Dmitry and Kitty School, which can move you to the next level of leadership when you can work in teams on given tasks and the highest level, you can formulate your own tasks, your own plans. So retrospective sessions help us to push our students gently from the first level of leadership. I can follow clear instructions to the second level of leadership. I can give productive feedback. Uh, Retrospective sessions are run for 90 minutes, so it's a whole lesson. Now, that's very interesting because we all have to cover the curriculum and we all have to teach English. And English is a hard skill, isn't it? Uh, listening, writing, reading, speaking, uh, all, all the skills can be trained. However, we believe in the 21st century competencies and beyond the, uh, uh, beyond the language, beyond the language skills, which we may want to train at our ELT classes. And retrospective is set, uh, retrospective sessions that we do not look at them as at a waste of time. We look at them as a at quite productive tool, which can help us to change the curriculum and to fit it better to the students' needs and to create a more productive environment, which will then lead to a more productive language teaching. So at the beginning of retrospective session, which we run four times per year, 90 minutes each, we remind simple rules. We don't take retrospective personal, teachers do not take it personal, learners do not take it personal. We listen, that's very important to listen to what other people are saying. And uh, everyone's voice is important to us. Everyone should have a voice during a retrospective session and it's discussed for 90 minutes. The four retrospective questions are discussed uh, in a formal way for 90 minutes. And we focus together with kids sometimes, together with teenagers, we focus on improvement. And we want to create this mindset of continuous improvement uh, for our learners when they have voice, they see a problem as a challenge, not a problem, as an opportunity, not a problem. And they have the power to change the learning process. We think that's important. Uh, <coughs> at the beginning of a retrospective session, students are given two questions. 
what did we do well within a certain period of time? In our case, it's three months. What did we do well in a certain period of month uh, 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 of, of time, which is three months? And what can we do better? What can we do better next time? And first students answer the questions individually. Then they share it in groups of four. And then they put it on an online board, on a mirror board, and then everybody reads it. And we discuss the questions. We openly discuss the questions. And a teacher is present. And a retrospective session is run by a different person, not a teacher who comes to a class, but a teacher is present. And the teacher is part of the team and gives her answers as well. And then when the answers, what did we do? really well, what could have been done better, uh, are discussed. We move to the next block. We ask kids a question based on what you've just heard. What ideas did you get? What ideas of improving the process did you get? And what are our action points? What are we really going to do later on to change our school to be a better place? Now, I think that's very important because at the end of every retrospective session, an action plan is created. And when the action plan is created, we as school managers and we as English teachers have to follow it. If a plan has been agreed, we have to follow it otherwise and make real changes uh, uh, which are visible for our learners. Otherwise, uh, retrospective sessions are going to be a waste of time. There is a, really, uh, a variation of a retrospective session. Uh, so option one, you can ask two questions first. Uh, what went well? What could have been done better within a certain period of time? You choose your period of time. It can be two weeks, a month, even a year. And uh, then you create an action plan. The second option of running a retrospective session is uh, draw a map of the past two months or the past three months and on a map draw, uh, on a timeline draw what went well and what didn't go that well as we've been wanting to. And then discuss it openly and then finish with an action plan as well. And <coughs> a useful tool for retrospective is dot voting because when you create an action plan sometimes actions can be not that realistic sometimes one action can uh, conflict with a different action so uh, we give uh, our learners we give uh, we give our students dot stickers which are something like that and we give them seven dots to each student each student is uh, is given uh, seven dot stickers and they vote for the best ideas and the best ideas go to action plan and they're really going to be implemented in the next iteration. So uh, that's very difficult. That was very difficult for us at the Dmitry Interfin School to work with the teacher's mindset because teachers tend to look at retrospective sessions as at everything which has no clear connection with the hard skills, uh, the four skills, the language skills, uh, they look at it as a waste of time to begin with. But then we use the principle we all know, re select, reject, supplement. And first we select, uh, uh, we, we, uh, uh, first we choose to cover the curriculum and we reject uh, all, all activities like retrospective sessions, feedback sessions, and we want to supplement our curriculum with uh, more grammar and vocabulary. I think it's, 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 it's kind of the basic teaching mindset. And then with experience and with creating more effective learning environments, we move to a different teacher's mindset when we use, uh, uh, when, when our choice is to cover curriculum, but we also, uh, add more soft skills to our curriculum because we understand that running a retrospective session uh, and working on a 
soft skill of feedback, for example, giving and receiving feedback, can improve the teaching process and can uh, make the formation of hard skills, which are the language skills, more effective. So my name is Dmitry and I work for the Dmitry and Gittin School. Here are my web pages and my email address and my VK and Facebook accounts. Uh, I'm open to any kind of cooperation. And uh, it was a pleasure for me to share my experience of running retrospective sessions because I think it's a unique experience of an open dialogue of a teacher, a student and a school manager. Thank you.